Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Well, Nick Collier here, and uh, you know, uh, I've had this dividing head for, oh, I don't know, two or three years now, and it seems like every gear or every division I've used on this head has been an even number. And I've been able to just go to the plate and and plug it in and go. Uh, this is the first time I've run into a compound gear. I mean, it's, it's 26 teeth, but there's not 26. I don't have a dividing plate that has 26 holes. And I could not figure it out. I spent hours and hours messing around with this thing, trying to get it to work right. And finally went on the uh, internet. And on the internet, I found a chart for this particular head and uh, the chart answered the question in two seconds i'm back online i'm ready to go we're set up we've got all uh, the head squared up the head centered we've got the tail stock centered we got everything ready to go and ready to cut so let's get down there and get to business all right so here's our gear we're going to clean up this one tooth first and then go into the brass tooth and cut that and then go to the next tooth and clean that one up and then spin all the way back around to these three teeth on this side. So, time to cut. And that is way too fast. So we're going to slow things down here. And reverse the direction. That looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to bring it in by hand just to make sure that we're okay. And we're sitting at zero. Okay, we're just starting to touch here. There were some a few little brass particles that rolled over onto that gear, so I'm sure that's what we're cutting off right now. All right. So that took care of that. We're going to roll ourselves around one turn and 21 holes to the next gear. And this is the brass one, the all brass. So uh, we're going to probably cut this pretty slow. And I'm cutting 100% here because we're cutting brass and, you know, I just go slow and then I, I, that way I don't have to come back around. I'm gonna get my head in the way for a second here. Just to make sure we're doing right. Looks pretty good. Yep.
or 10 teeth over and uh, so we basically have to run the index through that through its paces in order to get there so one revolution and 21 pins okay one revolution and 21 pins okay All right, so as far as I can tell, that's where we need to be. Let's see how it's going to cut. Gonna get my head in here one more time, make sure we're sitting right in the right position. And we are. Okay. Now we're cutting on the top side of the brass because a little bit of the brass rolled over. It looks like this this uh, gear came out gear teeth that came out beautiful. Okay, I think we pretty much did that as much as we can. Um, it's time to take this apart and see how do how we did. Okay. And it looks pretty good. Looks like we just missed just a tad right in there. I might just go in with a file and clean that up a bit. All right, well, we got the gear all set up here. And, uh, but there's, you know, there's some roughness on the ends here and I'm gonna need to come in and clean that up. But this side here has a, um, 
Oh, I actually thought, oh, it's this side that has a rounded uh, end of the, of the gear. And, and I'm sure that's to engage with the other gear when the back gear is kicked into in. So we're going to need to come in and round off each one of these, uh, the tips of the gear. And, you know, we could do it with a file, but it would be a big hassle. So we're going to try doing it with a sanding disc. And I'm in the jewelry section of my studio here because that's where all the real fine tools are. Alright, put my cheater glasses on, get this thing set to go, and we just come in and It looks like it tapers a bit and rounds. So we're going to have to come in and do a taper here. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, the, uh, the back gears of the mill, take that gear, and uh, we've got to come in with the, uh, there's a little brass uh, uh, slider that goes into the gear, and then uh, a pin, and I'm going to need to get something to stand on here. So the slider goes here, and the gear goes there, and there's our little timing cog. Ah, come on. There we go. It has to come in from the other side, of course. There's our timing cog. And then our pin drops in. And locks this whole thing in down into the, uh, the, uh, into the body of the mill. And then, basically, that's what we've got. Now we've got a functioning gear head. And then when the back gear kicks out, that kicks in and it just, it spins faster. Yeah, that's going to be just fine. Okay, well that was uh, quite a uh, coup here. Uh, you know, it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, but uh, Hey, what the hell, right? I mean, we're, uh, we're all about taking as much time as it's needed. And, uh, hey, if you like this one, uh, go ahead and uh, hit the little like button down there in the corner. And, you know, that little gear over there, too, will uh, get an email from me when I post a new one. And I post them once a week. So, this little gear is in place. Now we're going to put the rest of the head back on. And, uh, and, um, oh yeah, we still have a, uh, hang on, I'll show it to you. The actual housing, which is right here, 
is fine, except, I mean, as I said, somebody just, somebody just wang this sucker to death. Somebody just busted off the whole brake system off of this side. So I'm either going to have to come up with a new one of these uh, for about 150 bucks, or we'll figure out some sort of welding system to bring that back into play. But, you know, personally, I'd rather just get a new new uh, cover. So hang in there with me. We're going to finish this mill at some point or another, and then I'm going to sell the damn thing because uh, I don't have room in the shop for another one. Although I'd like to have another one, but uh, as I said, there's just not enough room in here. So, Nick Collier, checking out.